the Rebel 1100. Would I buy it again as a brand new rider? Let's talk about it. Okay, so I really wanted to go over the Rebel 1100, would I buy it again as a brand new rider? I have officially had this bike for a year now, and I just kind of wanted to go over my experience with it, and especially as a female rider, like would I buy it again? if I had the chance. No, as a brand new rider, I would not buy it again. Am I loving this bike? Yes, this is my baby. <laughs> like, I love this bike. And I will definitely have it for a while. But, but, as a brand new rider, and I mean brand new, I'd been on a dirt bike twice for maybe an hour, both times, like, <laughs> brand new rider. Um, so no experience on a motorcycle downgrading to the 300 which was probably a little far honestly i probably should have done the 500 had i had the opportunity i did not have the opportunity i ended up with a 300 um, as a new rider as a female i was much more comfortable on that bike but i did learn really quickly um, people said you're going to grow out of this and what does that even mean like as a new rider i don't even know what that means and they were right so i started really writing um, i bought it i bought this last thanksgiving it wasn't riding season, right? So I put it in my shed and it sat there for months and finally got it out in the spring. I started riding, I think April was probably when I started and it felt too big. It just, it just did, it felt overwhelming, too powerful, a little scary and just getting kind of my wits about me um, the 300 was much more helpful with that. So just learning better balance and just getting more comfortable riding in general. So the 300 was really good for that. But there came a time uh, around late August, early September of this year that I just needed more power. I just went, I need a bigger bike. I feel like when I'm pulling out no traffic, I just don't have enough room to get me out of any bad situation should one happen. And you know, here I had this thing sitting around. So I said, I feel like I'm ready to upgrade. I had several people tell me you're not ready yet. You're not ready yet. Um, but I felt ready. So I decided I was going to at least try it around the neighborhood. I drove around the neighborhood. I left the neighborhood, got on the road and my grin went from to this is amazing. Um, I love this bike. <laughs> like it's truly, truly an incredible bike. Um, it just had what I was then looking for. It, you know, I kept it in rain mode, um, and I've actually kept it in rain mode all year while I've been riding it. And I feel like next spring, maybe late next spring, early next summer, I should be ready to switch it into standard mode. And I don't know if I'll ever put it in sport mode, honestly, because my goal is not to just see how fast I can go on a motorcycle. I know I'll, that's a lot of people's goal, but it just as a, as a female rider and, and as a, I don't know what will call me a more shy rider, I guess. I'm, I'm comfortable just riding. <laughs> just, I want to cruise around. Um, so I am just, yeah, I'm just happy with where I'm at right now. Um, like I said, I, I love this bike. It is just gorgeous. Um, it's got the power I'm looking for and I feel like I can still grow into it. So if you have experience, like if you're a guy, I think men could probably handle this as their first bike. I do because you're stronger than me. You, um, probably have more experience just right off the bat. Even if you are a new rider, um, I think men could probably handle this bike as a first bike as a woman or even as a petite woman, which I'm not, but as a petite woman, definitely don't start with this one. But overall, like I really, I've enjoyed it a lot and I feel like I'm gonna be able to grow into it for a few more years and that makes me super happy. Um, this winter, I'm planning on doing some modifications on it. If I would get a, a fairing or a windscreen or something and I definitely need some place to put baggage. So I'll either do, I don't know, something so I can carry stuff or like saddlebags, I don't know. So this winter, that's kind of what I'm gonna be working on, some slight modifications. So goals for next year, we got 2023 coming, goals for next year, I really wanna go motorcycle camping. I really wanna do my first official twisties. Um, I live in the mountains, let's use them, right? We gotta be the Rocky Mountain Rebel, so it's time to get in the mountains. I wanna learn how to work on my bike. 
Um, as of now, I haven't really done any work on the bike. I haven't even cleaned the chain yet. So I need to learn like all those skills this winter. And I guess maybe if you're a brand new rider or if you're a female rider and wanting to kind of, you know, come, come with me on this journey as I learn to be a mechanic on my own bike, that's actually really exciting for me because you can't really work on cars anymore. Like they're just so complicated and they're so computerized and we can still work on bikes. And that makes me happy because I've always want to learn those things. I don't know if you guys know this, but my official job is I'm a dental hygienist. So if you want to bleach your teeth because you need great a great smile for your videos or you just want to impress somebody um, or you just want a white smile because you drink too much coffee and tea and <laughs> red wine, then um, check out BurstOralCare.com and their whitening strips. And here's a quick video on those. Introducing Burst's brand new whitening trays. They include seven days of treatment at 12% hydrogen peroxide. There is a lower and an upper tray in each package. Be sure to brush and floss thoroughly before whitening. I like to apply the upper trays first, but it doesn't matter the order. Next, the lower. Now you're going to wait 10 to 15 minutes. Here are the burst strips as well. These are 6% hydrogen peroxide. Remove trays. Brush your teeth with warm water to remove the last of the gel. And there you go. A beautiful white smile. Order yours today. So go ahead and check those out. You can go to burstoralcare.com. That will get you a massive discount on toothbrushes, water flossers, anything you're looking for. I love, I love their products. I've been using their products for three years now and I am super happy with all of their products. That's it. So like and subscribe. That really helps me out. Go ahead and comment below if you're a woman writer and you're getting into this. You know, um, if you have some experience, go do a test ride. These are awesome. Um, if you're a guy, probably have better luck with it right off the bat. Um, but overall, it's just, it's a great bike. So keep your wheels down and I'll talk to you soon. just doesn't get old. It just doesn't. That is so fun.